Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and today we are going to be talking about subtrading and why you should not be doing it. So what is subtrading, you might be asking yourself, Wolfgore? Well, subtrading is simply the act of trading your subscription for somebody else's subscription on YouTube. Now this is a very common occurrence among new YouTube content creators, and on the face of it, it's not a bad thing. It's just like, hey, I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me. We both gain a subscriber. Sounds like a good thing, right? Well, it's kind of a bad thing. Let's say you meet somebody on somebody else's live stream and you're both just chatting, getting to know each other, having a normal social interaction. You're like, hey, I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's great. That That's totally fine. I, I personally don't think that there's anything wrong with that. That's networking, if anything. What I'm talking about, however, is subscriber live streams or subscriber sub for sub spamming. So if you do a quick search how to gain, you know, a thousand subscribers in a day on YouTube, that type of thing, people are going to tell you, oh, just go to people with no subscribers, leave a little comment in one of their videos. Hey, I subscribed. Please hit me back with a subscription. You can copy paste it. You can go through, you know. 1500 people in a few hours if you're really into it drink a cup of coffee while you're doing it and believe it or not You will get subscribers from this but more commonly there are sub for sub live streams typically the live stream has some bad EDM music playing in the background and just like a board Where you can post your name you enter in a little command and your name will go up there and there's like a hundred people on the board It's it's really quite lame and sad but in the chat people are just like hey subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you and you're like okay and you go over there and you subscribe and they sometimes subscribe and that's what people do to gain subscribers and it's in and of itself kind of an innocent thing but I think it's really bad for people's mindsets their channels and their communities and I'm gonna get into why that is so first of all why is it bad for your community well in my humble opinion and I'm just speaking for myself here I feel that the subscriber content creator bond is sort of a sacred one. I create content the best that I can on the most regular basis that I can so that you can be entertained like by it like this. And I am always trying to improve that content. But falsely inflating your channel with subscribers that aren't actually interested in the content or being part of the community, I feel really waters down the relationship between the people who actually found your content and subscribed to get it or come to your live streams and come back to see more of it. I really just feel like it waters down the relationship and I don't like that. I don't like that as somebody who is subscribed to somebody and I don't like that as a content creator. I think on both sides of the equation, it feels dirty and kind of wrong. Now, how is it bad for your content? Well, I kind of touched on that before, but the thing is there has to be incentive for you to get better. Like when I first started out on YouTube, I was really bad because I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to make vlogs. I didn't know how to edit videos. I didn't know how to make thumbnails. I didn't know how to do any of these things well. I didn't know how to live stream. And the list goes on. I didn't know anything. But the incentive of getting more subscribers, earning more subscribers more specifically, kept me moving forward, kept me starting new projects each day, even when I would get frustrated and want to quit. I kept coming back because I wanted to grow this community. And when it finally started to take off on its own, it was incredibly gratifying and rewarding. And that didn't happen because I was asking people to subscribe to my channel in exchange for my subscription. It happened because I was persistent and I got to a point with time, effort and dedication that I was good enough for people to start subscribing on their own. And that's what all content creators need to achieve. That's a point they need to reach on their own for their channel to eventually reach any level of success. That's a lesson you have to learn. And doing sub for sub live streams completely takes away the chance that you're going to learn that incredibly, incredibly valuable and necessary lesson for creating and growing a channel and a community. And lastly, I think one of the biggest problems with going for sub to sub live streams and doing all this is that you're not making content. You're not live streaming because it takes time. It takes time and a small amount of effort to be at one of these live streams or to spam people. 
you know? And when you're doing that, what you're not doing is you're not live streaming and you're not creating content. And that's the things that you need to be doing. That is the bread and butter of being a creator, is creating. And if you're not creating, your community is missing you. And you know, why, why should they continue being subscribed to you if rather than making content to entertain them, you're just off sitting on a live stream somewhere, falsely inflating your numbers so that you can brag about it or something, feel better about it, maybe get your YouTube partnership a little bit faster, which really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And even though it feels good to get those quick subscriber numbers going up real fast, way quicker than you ever have, it's just not worth it. And how do I know? Because I tried it. Full disclosure, back when I had I have a pretty good memory when it comes to my channel because I'm very passionate about it. Back when I had 27 subscribers and I had just gotten my old office put together and I was feeling extremely frustrated because I, was, I had made, I think, two full Let's Plays, fully edited, full commentary, and some smattering of other videos and I was just not getting subscribers. I was stuck at 27 subscribers and it, it had been like that for months. And I was making and releasing content and I was so frustrated. I thought I would be way further along than I was at that time. So I started, you know, Googling, what can I do? How to gain subscribers? Eventually it led me to this video, which in turn told me about sub for subbing and how to do it and about the live stream aspect of it. So I went to one of these live streams. I stayed there for about 20, 25 minutes. I got about, I remember I went from 27 subscribers up to 33. I think I subscribed to about 13 people, if memory serves, and gained, what is that, five or six? Six subscribers? But I, I didn't feel rewarded. You know, it, it was cool to be like, oh wow, this actually works. Like my subscriber number is actually going up as I'm actively involved in this thing. And that was kind of initially cool for like the first couple minutes. But by the time I was done, I felt dirty. I felt guilty like I had cheated on my channel or something like that sick feeling when you've like betrayed somebody or done something that you know is wrong that you feel in your gut that's what I felt and I had a hard time sleeping that night and eventually I got back up I think it wasn't even morning yet and it was just bugging me I was like I regret this completely this was not the way to grow my channel and when I did what I said, I went to all the new subscriptions that I had. I left the messages saying, hey, I'm sorry, uh, this isn't for me. I don't feel right about this. This isn't how I wanna grow my channel. I'm gonna unsubscribe to you. Please unsubscribe to me. This just isn't for me. And you know, I felt kind of like an asshole, but I was like, no, this just, this isn't for me. I'm not okay with this. And I put my foot down and I got back to making fucking content. And then I started gaining subscribers eventually because I got better. And I finally found live streaming and I gained more subscribers from that because I got better. Now I know content creators who have followed through with this sub for sub process for longer than I did, more than just 25 minutes testing it out. And none of them are active on their channels anymore. And the reason for this, I believe, is that getting into sub for sub is like a quick drug it's like an amphetamine it gets you going you're getting what you want you're getting that satisfaction of new subscribers all of a sudden at the click of buttons it's so easy and people get quickly addicted to that and ignore the feelings of guilt and just you know oh this is just to get to a thousand subscribers so i can get youtube partner this is just to get to ten thousand so i can you know say i'm in the ten thousand club you know it's just something that they convince themselves that they should do and that there's nothing wrong with it but eventually they realize this is not a sustainable means of growth it requires active effort to grow the channel and it's not actually increasing your community all it's doing is inflating the number these people aren't watching your videos these people aren't interested in being your subscribers they're just hitting the button and eventually people realize they have to stop so they do and then they it all just kind of comes crashing down. They don't feel confident in their channel anymore. There's just, you know, they built a bad foundation and they end up walking away from it, which is really sad because having a channel is such a, such a wonderful thing. Like, I love it. It's a great place to just talk and grow and meet people. And I love it so much. And it makes me really sad that I know at least three people who have given up 
on their dream of being a content creator or a live streamer just because they wanted to get instant gratification. So guys, you know, I know I have some new streamers and some new content creators in my community right now just starting out. And guys, this is for you, if anything, don't let the stress get to you. You know, there are going to be times when you are going to be frustrated, when you are going to want more subscribers and you're just going to be like, what the fuck? Why is nobody watching my content? Just stick with it. Don't go to sub for sub. It's like cancer for your channel. Like it, it just kills it over time. You know, it's not going to happen right away, but it's not what you need. It's not what you need. What you need to do is be patient, learn, keep growing, and eventually it'll happen the way that you want it. Well, fam, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here and clicking on the video. I just had to put that out into the universe because it's something that I do feel very passionate about. If you decide to sub for sub, that is your choice. I'm not telling you how to live. I'm just trying to give you my advice. So please be gentle in the comments below if you're into sub for subbing. It's your life, boo. But please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And uh, leave me comments, hopefully not hateful, angry ones, down below. Love your faces, Beard Heart. See you next time. Bye bye.